Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video. And today we're going to take another look at Ripple and XRP. But also, guys, make sure you press the like button on this video because I'm planning to give away $200 worth of crypto. I know it is crazy, but all that you have to do is press the like button on this video, comment something down below, and make sure you have the notification bell on. If we hit 299 likes in 24 hours, we are given that away. So first of all, Ripple or no Ripple? TransferWise joins Visa's real-time payment solution for global remittances. Now, this is something or kind of a subject I've really been wanting to talk about for quite some time now. And it's also come up quite often and still I've kind of been ignoring it. Now, the latest company to join Visa's real-time payment platform, Visa Direct, that simplifies and drives costs down in the global remittance space is TransferWise. And if you don't know TransferWise, make sure you quickly look them up because we've talked about them on the channel quite often before. Now, the major money transfer service has joined the expanding partners list of Visa Direct, of course, that already processed 2 billion transactions in 2019. And the idea behind Visa Direct is to make sending money as easy as sending a text message. Have you guys seen that before? Yeah, you, we've kind of seen it by Brad Gollinghouse, David Swartz, all the big Ripple guys. As they always state, we want to make sending money as easy as, you know, sending information around or really sending a text, email, messages. How everything around the internet is going so smoothly, we also want to make the same thing go for payments. Now, from TransferWise perspective, TransferWise is on a mission to move money around the world in a cost-efficient, quick, and transparent way. Integrating Visa Direct further erase, eases the transfer process and brings us another step closer to achieving our mission. So yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Let's move up a little bit further though, because unimpressed by Ripple's partner network. About a year back though, and this is where it becomes important, TransferWise indicated excitement over the growth of Ripple's global payment solution, but said blockchain has its own set of challenges. At the time, TransferWise chairman and co-founder Tavit Hinrikus said, if every bank in the world was going through the Ripple network, it would be amazing. I mean, that's pretty obvious to all. Yet, how many banks are using Ripple today? How many are using it in real production? It's a very short list. Ripple's partner list has now increased to 300, but TransferWise still might not have any plans in the near future. So, of course, this was kind of crazy, right? And, and people went to ask on Twitter, like, all right, what about now? TransferWise replied and said, love your enthusiasm, but we're afraid the news are still the same. We don't offer Ripple tech. We'll see how it goes in the future. Stay tuned. This was all the way back in May. Matthew Whitmore said, hi team, we've started to move our company to TransferWise and so far so good. Would love to see you jump on the Ripple and its rapid bandwagon to make it even faster and cheaper. TransferWise then again replied and said, we love to have you on board, but news are the same here. We don't have the plans to offer Ripple Tech. If anything changes, we'll let you guys know. And before that, um, we're not using Ripple Tech right now, but not really out the possibility. This was all the way back in the beginning of 2018. Always considering new ways to make TransferWise better for customers. August, still exactly the same situation. Now, where does this all kind of conclude and why did I make such a big deal out of this? Well, Ripple partners working with Visa Direct. Let's kind of conclude it here. Visa Direct's growing partner list also includes Ripple members. As we reported last week, MoneyGram expanded its services to, span, uh, to Spain and the Philippines and is planning to launch in additional countries in the coming months. This partnership had a successful launch in the US where 50% of the users are brand new to MoneyGram. Moreover, indicators show custom retention rates outperforming expectations. But before MoneyGram, last month, Ripple partner Neom that joined RippleNet in February 2018 and was the first one ODL to settle transactions between US dollar and Mexican peso, partnered with Visa Direct. That's kind of where I uh, wanted to conclude it here already. And interestingly, Earthport, a cross-border payment company that joined Ripple in 2014, was acquired by Visa earlier this year. You might be wondering, Dusty, what's your point? My point is here, what makes Visa Direct better? Right? We, we kind of got to check into this. We kind of got to get it through our minds because this is actually way bigger of a deal than you might right now superficially think what they're basically saying here transferwise a company which we've kind of you know glorified in the past they're kind of saying you know ripple good 
because that's kind of what they're stating in, in one of their statements here. If every bank in the world was going through Ripple Network, it would be amazing. But we're not using it because others are not on there. And I think that's a really big issue. They've got 300 partners now, but TransferWise here as an example here saying they don't have enough. And what that really shows us is that these corridors that they're opening right now, which again, in my previous video, we also saw Binance doing, um, specifically for XRapid, that is then, is really freaking necessary. And they really need to make these moves really rather quickly. Because I don't know if they're talking here about XCurrent or about both, because of Matthew Whitmore here, who's saying, you know, specifically XRapid. But for XCurrent, I really don't know what to tell them. I really don't know what to say. Like, all they're doing here is just teasing us really they're just saying hey ripple's good but we're not going to use it just because there's not enough players on i mean like when when are there enough players on and how are they going to continue growing if everybody's going to say the same thing it's, it's really something strange in my mind but i do see this as a big issue if players are rejecting ripple because they don't have enough people on there i think we just got to spread the word more on, on twitter guys i think really if we just spread the word more on twitter about hey man why are you not re uh, utilizing ripple right we just keep asking all these parties at one point, they're going to notice, like, all right, you know, we're not using it just because they don't have enough players. That's a stupid thing. That's, that's really stupid because they're getting more and more players on there. And maybe, just maybe, if we keep reminding them every time, like, but Ripple already has 300 freaking partners and things like this, they might switch over at one point. I just think it's really, really understandable that they don't want to hop on. But still, I don't think that should be a problem right there. I really think we should convince them that there's already enough players and we can really get them going. Because right now, at this rate, Visa's winning. Don't like it because uh, you guys know I don't like Visa too much. I really think Ripple as a 10, Visa as a 7.5. So, but okay. Ripple named an innovation example by Bank of America for cross border payments. We actually discussed this really elaborately in our previous video. Ripple uh, was really called like <laughs> amazing by the Bank of America, but it's not new to us at all. The only point I tried to make by showing you guys this is just how the general opinion by bigger parties is just really positive of Ripple. We can see it in this article right here where um, TransferWise themselves are saying they're amazing and you'll see it most likely in every other article. I, up to this date, have not really found people saying our experience with Ripple was bad. All that I've been seeing is either, yeah, it's so cool and all, but we're not going to get into crypto. That's one thing I've been seeing. Ripple is too flawed, too new, which is like kind of the stance of Bank of America. Like they're saying um, with newer technology comes problems sort of and they're, they're too imperfect, imperfect to, to, you know, get adoption all the way. I get that. But that's also what we have these years for. And to some extent, yeah, what else have we been seeing? No, I think that's mostly the two things we've been seeing lately kind of lost it there I, i'm i'm actually not that sure exactly what people are saying about rip on a negative sense it's mostly that they're new and imperfect or i guess they don't have enough players that, that's those are the things we really hear um most often personally don't think they they should be valid just because being new in the game doesn't mean you're bad being imperfect is really relative because i think they're doing a really good job they really fixed tons of flaws and really with time here um they're going to be fixing it anyway so i guess it's 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 kind of logical they're saying they're imperfect because they're so new. They're six years old. Swift has been here for 40, 50 years. Uh, but but I think within a couple of years here, they're going to be fixing so many issues. They're going to be so into everybody. Like, for example, if they were to get two partners a week, maybe three, let's do three, 150 partners a year, most likely they'll top that. Let's say 200 partners a year. In five years, have a 1,000 pl partners plus. And I guess it's going to be a snowball effect, right? Because even, for example, here, TransferWise would have most likely been a partner had they gotten more partners already. So if we, we kind of see from that perspective, you can most likely see a very good snowball effect, meaning first year, most likely 200 customers, next year, maybe 350, next year, maybe 500, next year, maybe 750, next year, maybe 1500, you know, at one point, once they got maybe, you know, a thousand or something going on, I think the, the, the speed is just going to drastically increase by like a hundred percent every month. Just, it's going to be crazy just because of the snowball effect. It, it's really unimaginable for us all to see just because we don't know what parties they have already and we don't know what parties are kind of still on the edge because of you know not being connected enough we, we don't know enough about it ripples's xrp price could regain bullish momentum after reaching this crucial level by a crypto trader personally um we also covered this briefly i don't agree with this i just personally don't like these analyses i don't like the, the stuff they're doing just wanted to kind of notify you guys again that I'm not interested in these price talks too much. I just do it to interest you guys a little bit to sometimes maybe 
cover a little bit about what's going on, but generally speaking, I don't mind them, I don't read them for my personal entertainment or, or knowledge, so I don't think you should either. Aussie Investor on Twitter, at Investor underscore Aussie says, It's 10th of December 2019, and XRP is trading at 22 cents. I'm building my bags while others are selling. To those reading this in the future, I say this, told you so. It's a fun thing. You know, I often consider this as, as really fun just because in the future, yeah, you're not going to get the chance you got right now. Like if we, for example, um, go back a couple of years, a lot of people are saying, or two years, go back to just before the bull run, people are saying, you know, like, oh, this is too expensive, yada, yada, yada. But then once the bull run was at its full potential, right, the price of XP was at $4, $3.80, $3.90. People were like, oh, if only I could have bought at 20 cents. If only I could have bought at 10 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars even. If only I could have bought at that point. And that's a fun fact. In the future, you're going to be like, if only I could have bought at 22 cents when it was back at this low. And this is not a guarantee. This is also not financial advice, this video. But it's just something I, I sometimes think about. You know, like, there's so many chances to, to get into it right now. Should I be wasting them? And I, I personally don't think I should. I have a layering strategy in place where I just buy at different points and really think that's the best way to go about it, just so I don't miss out on any valuable crypto. Bring it to completion. I just noticed a video here um, from Jeff Hardy at first, ISO XRP. He said, here we go, SEC today, the new plumbing, pluming is here, can't name the company, crypto is here now, XRP. The Bearable Bull replied and said, ladies and gentlemen, XRP regulatory clarity is at our doorstep. When the hammer drops, the price pops. It's almost time. And I quickly want to show you guys this video because it's been watched 50,000 times. Uh, moving to a different issue, this year Facebook announced its plan to develop a new cryptocurrency called Libra. While the SEC is one of a number of regulators who would have uh, jurisdiction over Libra, can you speak to how the Libra announcement has affected how the SEC and other regulators are working to be responsive to and innovative to market developments and trends? like cryptocurrencies? Sure, and I, I, I appreciate the question, and the question um, highlights what, what happened with that announcement. Um, and whether it's, I'm not gonna speak about the particular product, it's, it's not appropriate for me to do so, but the, the announcement um, was a focal point for regulators of different types to recognize the digitization and the digitization of the plumbing and other aspects of our financial system, including payment transfers, et cetera, it is coming. The, um, what I'll say, just the natural economic forces that it unleashes, taking uh, fat out of the system, for back, lack of a better term, it's, it's happening. Now, we have to recognize that that's happening, recognize our mission, safety and soundness, investor protection, fair markets, and ensure that as that digitization takes place, we're being true to those principles. But we should not be fighting that digitization because you know, if we fight it, it will go around us. Well, thank you. That mirrors my feelings on it. And I, I assume that when you say it is coming. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Senator, it's here. This year. It's here. It is here already. Yeah, I see. It's here. <laughs> yeah, it is here. And uh, as I have said many times, Okay, now one thing we, we must understand here is that it's not certain whether they're talking here about um, XRP, Ripple, or, or Libra, or anything else. We really don't know. And uh, the Bearable Bull here actually replies to some people who are stating it's most likely to talk about Ribba, Libra. He says, the new plumbing is here. Libra is not the plumbing. Libra doesn't even exist. He doesn't have to be asked about XRP for the statement to be about XRP. They will never name it out loud until after everything happens. Use the ability to connect the dots. I'm glad you're paying attention, though. And I actually like that because, in theory here, um, what he's saying is correct. They'll most likely not talk about XRP or really any regulatory clear. They'll never make it clear to us. We know all of that. They never make these regulatory things clear until they're clear, sort of. That, that sounds really odd, doesn't it? They don't want to make you understand it. That's the point, right? If they wanted to make it easy, they would have. But really, it's to make it as confusing as possible. It's the same bureaucracy type of stuff you're always seeing with your taxes and everything. They can make everything so much easier, right? All the paperwork, if you ever get a lawsuit going, anything like that. If you ever want to 
you know, go live on your own, for example, if you're living out, or the first time you go buy yourself a house, you want to move, right? All those things, there's so much paperwork. Okay, for example, a couple of weeks ago, started a couple of companies, right? In the, the Netherlands, there's a Befe, for example, or Envy the Benz, or whatever you want to go. But there's so much work involved to get it going. A lot of people don't know because they haven't started it, for example. But there's so much work involved if you don't have your accountant take care of everything. Why is it? Because they just don't want to make it easy for you. They just don't want to make it easy for you. They want you to pay for everything. They want you to go and make some professionals do it. Why? Because that's the way they rule. With the regulatory clarity here, they can always make it simple for you to understand, but they just don't want to. And that's also why you're never going to hear them say XRP. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to know until it's already happening. And with XRP specifically here, if they're in such a conversation talking about Ripple or XRP, all hell would break loose. There are going to be so many questions. There's going to be so much mainstream coverage. They can't do that thing. They always got to keep it unnamed just to make sure that no hammer is dropping yet. It, it's true, guys. I really do agree with that. It's my personal opinion, though. Jungle Inc. XRP on Twitter said, Fed now. 24-7, 365, autonomous system using an unnamed liquidity management tool. And interoperability protocol. I'm not saying it's XRP, just asking for all the possibilities so I can invest in them all. I don't know, know exactly um, why, where this, this came from right now. Just saw a lot of people liked it, saw a lot of people happy with it. So I was like, um, give him a little, <laughs> a little shot right there. Give him a little attention. Just because he's been hated on so much in the past year, I thought, you know, he deserved some, some slack. Still think that way. Uh, yeah, Junko's doing good. Doing a good job. Same for Bearable Bull. Doing a very good job. Aussie Investor. Don't know too much about him, but uh, we follow each other, so I guess we're cool with that. But yeah, guys, that was it for this video. Hopefully, all did enjoy. One, one, one small thing I should actually note here again is just how important I think this first part was. Maybe I should actually just put a little bit more emphasis on it. Is the first article we had. Um, it's the the TransferWise article. And I know, some people say, you talk about this for way too long. You're talking blah, blah, blah only. But guys, really, the revolution is going on. We all know it. There's so much changing right now. There's so many things that are so different than they were 10 years ago. For example, 20 years ago. Who would have ever thought the internet would be like it is right now? Who would have ever thought these cell phones would be... <laughs> that, that would be cell phones 20 years ago. Even 10 years ago, who would have thought that cell phones would have been this big? Who would have thought, you know, that about you know about google about youtube about everything like this who would have thought and the same thing with the financial system a couple of years ago let's say 2009 who would have ever thought that the internet could be ruled so much by bitcoin who would have ever thought that ripple would even start to exist who would have ever thought that swift would be taken over uh at least that's what i'm personally still predicting by ripple at one point most likely a lot of people are not thinking it yet but at one point they're going to be changing over and i'm gonna be like i told you so let's hope let's hope i, I kind of concluded that in a strange way just trying to say here transfer wise is just another example of ripple's growth is going to be exponential it's going to be insane we just got to wait for it but i really know that they're on a good path and i really think they can take over everybody if they just keep putting in the work keep expanding keep snowballing it's going to be amazing and we're waiting for it that was it for this video though guys hopefully you did all enjoy make sure you press the like button make sure you also subscribe to the channel and make sure you comment down below what you thought about it did I talk too fast? I know my voice is not too nice yet. It's because I've been sick, as you guys know. But um, it's recovering. It's recovering. Take care, everybody.